Rachel Joy Scott was the first Columbine victim. Many Wall High School students were too young to remember. She was killed for like seeing her beliefs. Rachel believed that kindness and compassion toward others would one day change the world. She wanted to promote um, good character and including everyone. A challenge Rachel deemed necessary 13 years ago is even more prevalent today. The golden rule, we learned it in kindergarten, but sometimes we kind of drift away from that and we're really like emphasizing that at our school. Wall students aren't just learning about Rachel, they're also taking on her challenge to replace bullying and violence with kindness and compassion. Um, I guess in some cases it could save a life, you know, somebody might act out in rash ways to harm themselves or others. But we never know, and that's one of the things we try to focus on is that we never know when our kindness or compassion is going to be there for somebody who really needs it. Organizers say Rachel's challenge is also about getting past our prejudices, but most importantly, it's about creating a ripple change of positivity that, as Rachel envisioned, would affect the world. I plan to try to do it forever, and I think the school should too. I mean, it's kindness and compassion. You can't really go wrong when you practice these traits. Taisha Walker, Coda Territory News.